What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of Attack once again, and I'm happy to bring to you guys the final fix for mining Dynex with SRB Miner on NVIDIA GPUs. This miner version is going to be 2.2.2, and we'll hop into it and some of the results right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. I recently launched a crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com, and it includes nine steps to cover when you decide to start your crypto mining journey. This is specifically pertaining to 2023 crypto mining profits and taking advantage of the down market to achieve skyrocketing growth as we move into the next halving of Bitcoin. You'll learn buying mining equipment in a bear market, using outside investment to speculative mine, begin mining once profit is established, sell mine crypto to pay for electricity, hold and prep for the bull run, sell at the top of the bull market, sell mining equipment at the top of the bull market, and begin investing in land and power so that you can bring in outside investors to utilize excess resources. Thanks everybody for your support, and I hope you enjoy the course. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So, to go over the changes, about 10 hours ago, as of the time of recording, SRB Miner Multi version 2.2.2 has been released. This has moved the CPU part of the proof of useful work for algorithm Dynex on NVIDIA GPUs to the, G to the GPU. The, there is better utilization of the CPUs that have more threads than running GPUs for algorithm Dynex. So we'll have to go ahead and maybe compare a little bit here and we'll do that live because I haven't added this parameter yet, which we will add. Parameter Dynex CPU proof of work now expects GPU IDs of devices on which you want to use the old CW or CPU POW method. Increased value of auto intensity a little bit under Linux OS for mining Dynex and some minor bug fixes. The potential here is this, and this will kind of be weird. We'll have to see how this plays out, but you should be able to at least assign a GPU to the CPU, meaning you can get that boosted 10% hash rate on a certain amount of GPUs. This is gonna vary system by system, and it's gonna be a little awkward. That being said, the system that I'm testing on today is going to be a, a Octominer X8 with an i7-4770 in it with no additional CPU power. Right now, we currently have it running on the no parameter, so it's everything's on the GPU, and as you can see, the RTX 3090 is ranging between 870 hash a second and 885 hash a second between 221 and 264 watts, depending on the make and model of the particular 3090. Now, what we're gonna do is go ahead and start a hive shell start, and we're gonna go take a look at the CPU usage, and then we'll go from there. Okie dokie, hive shell is ready. Let's go ahead and pop it open and take a look. So, we're gonna run the htop command, and as you can see, once it's stabilized, we have much better CPU usage on the 4770 with a couple threads hitting around 15%, somewhere around there. So what we're gonna do now is quit out of this and we are gonna go back to the miner and we're gonna go to our flight sheet and we're going to edit it and we're going to try to put everything onto the CPU. So here at the top, we're just gonna paste in our Dynex CPU proof of work and then we're going to apply changes and update and then say all workers. We'll come back over here and open up the miner. It should start applying at some point. We'll give it a second. There it goes, it kicked us out. We'll go back into the miner and give it a bit to go ahead and start hashing out. Alrighty, so now it is running, but it doesn't look like we're getting that much better hash rate. We're around 877 hash a second. Let's go ahead and back out of this with Control A D and look at our CPU usage now. Our CPU usage is still looking to be quite low, so I don't know that the ticker is actually functioning. Let's go ahead and make sure we have it in place. We do. Uh, we may have to do some more research on this in the future. I'm just going to go ahead and remove it for now and update, and we're going to go ahead and rock it with that. Now, if we went ahead and looked at the calculator for this one in particular with the 875 at around 225 watts with a 3% mining fee at 13 cents a kilowatt hour, 
we're losing about seven cents a day on the RTX 3090, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Be sure to hit the like, comment, subscribe down below, and I will see you next Tuesday. Let me know what results you're getting as you test further. And if I find anything special, I'll let you know as well.